some park. I haven't really given it full throttle yet. Do need my speed shots. You ready? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, go. So, where are we? Sometime later, obviously. Uh, yes, some time has passed. It's been a while since the last update and um, I thought it was time I brought you guys up to speed. Obviously I've gotten the big, big motor now and um, it's been going pretty well. As you can see, out on the river I thought this was probably the nicest place to sort of wrap things up for the moment um, with this little project. So, it's all going well. Um, as you can see the new motor rips along. Um, if I give it some juice, we, uh, we start moving quite, quite quickly and the steering works really well. Yeehaw. I did have to update a few things though um, from the time of the footage that you just saw. So, first of all, uh, I blew up the step-down regulator that controlled the servo and unfortunately I blew up the servo with it. Great, I'm in the middle of nature doing a peaceful wrap-up miles from anywhere and I get helicopters. Yeah, well. How's the serenity? Prison's just over there. Maybe somebody got stabbed. Anyway, where was I? Servo blew up, cost me some money. Sad. Um, the original TPU, uh, the original 3D printed mount that I used for the motor, also the motor had so much power that it was actually talking itself around on the, um, the pole. And um, so I had to reprint that out of TPU, made it stickier. Um, that's been working well now. I replaced the pole. The replacement pole was of course slightly too small so I had to uh, wrap some Kapton tape around it to get rid of all the slop. They love it when they advertise things as one size and they're like 0.1 of a millimeter smaller. Anyway, um, what else happened? Oh yes, I dropped one of these in the river and uh, well it worked for a while but eventually it stopped so I've had to reacquire another remote controller but since then everything has been working really well and you know the steering works charm the motor is ridiculously efficient on low speed so I can go for hours and hours and hours pulling under 100 watts and um, and at top speed yeah the efficiency drops off quite a lot but um, not exactly a super efficient design hull. Uh, I've been 3D printing some props as well. I've got a 3D printed prop on there at the moment which is quite interesting. Uh, works quite well. Seems to be more efficient than the shitty unbalanced metal Chinese prop that the motor came with. And that's about it. That's where we're at. So thanks for watching all of these. Um, if you did watch all of these I'm quite impressed. Um, I was going to have the next step be some sort of autonomous navigation with an INAV flight controller. Um, I might still get to that in the future but um, there's a lot of slop in the system so it's probably not going to work too well until I fix that. So what I might have to do is design a whole new mount first. So don't hold your breath for that update but um, you know, it's been fun and I'm getting a lot of good use out of this now. So. That was the goal.
I shall leave you with this lovely vista of the Brisbane River and uh, this is actually a little island on my right here called Cockatoo Island as you can hear there are various screechy boys around it's a beautiful day I shall continue to drift and motor along I can use this to set my cruise control just by putting the trim all the way forward and then we just have a nice sedate little walking pace which is only pulling 35 watts look at that super efficient um, yeah thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed and uh, we'll see you in the next video whatever the hell that ends up being okay Bye now. Well, that works. Go for it. Stop recording. That doesn't work. Still here? It's over. Go home. Go.